Hello everyone, I'm FMZ and welcome to episode 35 of League One to Legend with Portsmouth. Welcome to the South Coast Derby with Bournemouth. We have also got a few results to run through as well and we have one new loan signing which could make all the difference come the end of the season. Don't forget if you enjoy this content please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel and also don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Let's take a look at the new loan signing shall we? Where our search for a brand new striker is at an end. Neil Mope has joined us on loan from Brighton for the rest of the season. We are paying 11.75k of his wages. That is it. Brighton have done us another massive solid in giving us another player on the cheap. Finishing a 15, pace of 13, acceleration of 14, aggression, bravery, work rate 17 and 16 respectively. 26 goals in 83 appearances for Brighton. He has a very good strike rate. Is he going to take us to the Premier League? Hopefully, fingers crossed. Now moving on to the results we've had since we were last together and following the match with West Bromwich Albion. The link is up the top for that one. We drew 1-1 with Peterborough. Joe Pritchard puts... Peterborough in front on 34 minutes. Callum Robinson equalised just before the hour mark because it finished one apiece. We just about managed to scrape a 1-0 win over Sheffield Wednesday. Nathan Thompson with the own goal. We made it through to round five of the FA Cup thanks to an away win at Oxford after extra time. Callum Robinson coming up with the two goals in the extra time period. We finally managed to get a win over Middlesbrough at the fifth time of asking Callum O'Dowd and two goals from Harvey White giving us a 3-0 win and last time out Matt Penny came off the bench to equalise for us in the 85th minute or a Williams with the goal for Bristol City. Just a word on the injury front because the treatment room is starting to get a little bit more full again. Ryan Wintle is out for up to five weeks. Jack Henry is out for up to two weeks. Kevin Dix is out for up to three weeks. Marcus Bettinelli, though, is back in rehabilitation and is almost ready to return after his fractured lower leg. So you may have spotted it briefly. It's Liverpool again in a cup competition in the fifth round again. Can we knock them out? of a cup competition for the third straight year. Fingers crossed. We'll see how that goes. Probably in the next episode, actually. I think that's the next thing we're going to target. A little cup trip to Anfield. As we are in the championship, it is going very, very well. We are seven points clear with 16 games to play. The gap to third is the most important one now we are eight points clear of Aston Villa with Stoke on 54, Bournemouth on 53, Nottingham Forest on 51. So Bournemouth really need a win today themselves to get themselves back in the automatic promotion picture and to secure a playoff place. The vultures are starting to circle with Barnsley on 50, QPR on 49, Reading on 47, Oxford on 46, and the gap to Middlesbrough on 42 with Bristol City on 37 to completing the top half down at the bottom where Huddersfield are bottom of the table nine points from safety now on 21 Sheffield Wednesday have got 26 Peterborough have got 27 then Rotherham have 30 Wickham West Ham and West Brom are all on 31 so they're by no means safe any of those sides at the moment Blackburn and Birmingham are on 32 Hull are on 33 35 for Derby County 36 for Luton Town. So it's getting interesting down the bottom of the table with a lot of sides still potentially in trouble. At the top, however, we are looking to extend our lead out to 10 points. Obviously, the signing of Neil Mopay could be really, really significant. He goes straight into the starting lineup. Let's take a look at the teams. So here are the two starting lineups for this one. We start with McCarthy and Goal Smith. Watmore, Byrne, Topolo, Volks, Potts, Palmer, Baumgartner, Robinson with Mope leading the line. Bomber start with Gunning, Goal, Mepham, Riek, Roden, Santon, Quintilla, Cook, Aribo, Swift, Brooks with Butus leading the line. So a big game this one for both sides. Bournemouth need a win to keep their promotion challenge alive. We need a win to extend our lead at the top of the championship. The gap to third place is the one to focus on now. We 
are flying. Three wins from five. Bournemouth have got two wins from five. They've had a little bit of a blip, but this is a South Coast derby. Anything can happen on the day. Let's find out what happens in this one. Obviously, the signing of Neil Mopay could be the difference and it could send us to the Premier League. That is the plan, at least. Bournemouth are playing five at the back today, so that'll be interesting. We haven't come up against that very often this season. Toffolo with a throw. He's going to throw it in towards Baumgartner. No, Toffolo again. Will he try to find a cross into the centre? We'll find Potts instead. Potts goes back into Volks. Volks has got a shot on him. He's going to get one away this time. Find Smith. Smith up against Quintilla. Will he find a cross the front? Cross the ball across the front of the goal? Anything, anybody. Can't get me words out. Brooks gets it away. Probably sees him. Hang on. There we go. Toffolo with the corner. Sends it towards the centre. Headed away by Mapham. Picked up by Volks though. Will he play it back in? No, he's going around the outside. What more? Plays it back into Palmer. What more? Got to move about for him, boys. Not going to find any space doing that. Smith has it. Plays it into Palmer. Smith again. Volks. Back into Palmer. Volks sends it into Smith. This is nice build up. Will he find an end product? Mope with a shot. Not behind for a corner. Got half a yard. Got the shot away. That's what I like to see. McCarthy with the goal kick. Look at all the bodies. Four Bournemouth players surrounding one another. Volks gets it away though. Palmer. Is he going to try and find Robinson? He is. He's got loads of space. Will he get a shot away? The angle is tight, but he's managed to squeeze it under the keeper. Portsmouth 1, Bournemouth 0. Cameron Robinson with the goal. What on earth were Bournemouth doing? Look at how many players are in front of the ball. That's criminal. Palmer plays it across to Robinson. I thought he mucked it up here. Angle is tight, but he manages to squeeze it through 1-0. That'll do us for starters. Santon. Coming down the field, up against Toffolo. Potts is coming across to help him. Plays it back into Cook. Baumgartner pinches it. We are away again. Lots of Bournemouth bodies in front of the ball again. And Cook comes back and brings him down. Cynical. Baumgartner's going to take the free kick. Lots of bodies forward. Six of ours. Will we find a header? We will, and it's headed wide by Dan Byrne. McCarthy with the goal kick. They're trying the same tactic again. Four players in front of... That's a really weird thing to do isn't it smith and now we're having to chase back to try and cover palmer into bound gardener robinson in behind again when he gets a shot away a second time he will it's 2-0 callum robinson with the second goal bound gardener makes it this time Portsmouth two bomb of nil does it hit the underside of the bar i think angus gunn is beaten by the power palmer plays it into bound gardener nice ball in behind santon Gets the shot away. Keeper does get his hand to it. Cannot keep it out. 2-0. Tried to play it through. Looking for a rebo. Volks trying to make a tackle. Just be careful. Butos. A rebo looking wide for Quintilla. Plays it inside to Brooks. Brooks puts it well wide though. And that is half time. Portsmouth 2. Bournemouth 0. They've had a couple of chances Bournemouth. But nothing really there. Still bewildered by what they're doing. With having four players like that. Really does puzzle you. But doesn't matter. 2-0 up. Can we see it through? Hopefully, Fulham will get beaten by West Brom. That would be really good news. If Aston Villa could lose as well, that'd be even better. Itan has come on for Butes for Bournemouth, making a change up top. We are going to have a good substitution as well. Got a few tired legs out there already. But Will Volks is going to be the man to come off. He is on a yellow card. Luke Berry, the forgotten man, is on. Hasn't been forgotten. He's just had better players in front of him this season. Let's get a bit more encouragement on the field. The second half is starting to flag for the players. Right, let's have a look at another change, shall we? Let's give Cole Palmer a rest. Yeah, go on. We'll do that. Marcus Harness is going to come off. Free kick. Balzer is going to take it. McCarthy gets his hands on it, though. That's a fairly comfortable save. Will he find a ball through? Harness. Very tight. Bomber forgot bodies back now. Smith plays it back into Harness. Smith again. Get it over. No, up against a rebo. You've lost the opportunity now. Plays it back into Baumgartner. Harness tries to get the shot away. Roden blocks it behind for a corner. I feel like we're seeing out time here. 2 0 up. Comfortable. No real dramas. Toffolo plays it into the centre. Arebo heads it away at the near post. Toffolo will pick it up himself as the rain starts to come down. Patrick Roberts is on for Bournemouth and he is taking this corner. Will they find an opportunity to get back into the game? What more heads it away? Of course he does. That's what he does. Mope picks it up. No dramas. We just need to see it over the line now. 
Van Gardner goes early looking for Mopé. That's a great ball in behind the five at the back. But he has rolled it straight to Gunn. Should have put that in the bottom corner. Right, let's make a third and final change. Van Gardner is going to be the man to come off. Tom Lawrence is going to come on. Toffolo with the throw. Throws it into Robinson. Toffolo again. Goes in early. Recky heads it away. Ferry will pick it up. Plays it wide to Smith. Ferry again looking for Harness. There's a good ball in behind. Anybody going to get their feet on it? No, Robinson. Saved by Gunn. That was his hat-trick opportunity gone. Toffolo again. Burn goes inside looking for Lawrence. Lawrence flicks it down for Robinson. Potts. Potts going over looking for Harness. In behind the defender but he gets shot away. Gun with the save. Into four additional minutes. We are comfortable. Sit back, relax and enjoy the last couple of minutes. As Bournemouth have a corner in the last 30 seconds. Roberts is going to take it. Can we keep the clean sheet? Pot sets it away at the near post. That was a very poor corner from Patrick Roberts. I thought he was better than that. Going wide to Quintilla, but Harness is there, putting the pressure on. What more? Goes into Berry. This has been a very complete performance. No panic. Just got the goal, got the second one, and then we have seen the game out from there. This is what champions do, folks. Portsmouth 2, Bournemouth 0. I may have been, gone a bit early with the champion line, but there we are. 2-0 is the final score. Let's take a look at the league table. All the results are now in for Saturday's fixtures, and it's been a very good afternoon for us. So Fulham have lost at home to West Bromwich Albion. Aston Villa have lost at home to Stoke, so they've made up a little bit of ground at the top. Barnsley have beaten Rotherham, which means Bournemouth drop out the top six altogether. Although they do have a game in hand. That game looks like it's with Nottingham Forest. It has to be said. Down at the bottom of the table. Huddersfield have picked up a win at Birmingham City. Sheffield Wednesday have lost. As have Peterborough. Rotherham of course have not taken advantage. They lost to Barnsley. So it's very much the same down the bottom. At the top though. The gap is out to 10. Let's see what's going to happen next time around. So what we will do, we will take on Stoke, we will take on Rotherham, we'll take on Huddersfield, Reading and Derby County to finish off February. We will come back for the trip to Anfield in the fifth round of the FA Cup. We've got to. Can we knock Liverpool out of a cup competition for the third year in a row? We had to do it. We had to come back for that Liverpool game. It was a no-brainer. Can we knock them out of a cup competition for the third season running? That would be great if we could do that. Obviously, a great result today for us as well over Bournemouth. Getting that lead now to 10 points. Surely, it's only a matter of time before we get promotion back to the Premier League. Obviously, we'll find out the results we've had since we were last together when we get ready for that game with Liverpool next time. Don't forget, if you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel but would like to do so, please click that subscribe button down the corner. Don't forget, if you've got any comments to make on today's video, please leave them below. Also, don't forget, remember, the Passion for FM team, the link to the website and the Discord server is down in the description. I'm also promoting the charity Mind. If you are suffering with your mental health through this global pandemic, there are links down in the description where hopefully you can find the support that you need. I will see you next time for Liverpool. Until then, thanks for watching. Goodbye.